Is your specific person running hot and cold towards you? Are they very, very into you one day and then ignoring you the next day? In this video, I'm going to explain why hot and cold behavior manifests and what you can do to fix that. What's up superheroes? Welcome back to my channel, the place where we make the impossible possible. I'm Scarlett Grace from unseenserif.com. I'm a manifestation coach and today's video is all about hot and cold behavior when it comes to your specific person, what it is and how to put an end to that. If you're new here and you want to learn how to manifest any desire fast with the law of attraction and Neville Goddard's teachings, then start now by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss any video that could change your life. And if you need some extra help or my personal advice for your situation, email coaching is available. You'll find the links in the description below. I also have a 21-day course on how to manifest your specific person. So if that's what you're looking for, then click the link in the description to check it out. So let's talk about hot and cold behavior. So you've met someone and they were really, really into you and suddenly they're ghosting you or they're avoiding you or they don't seem so into you anymore. So why does this happen and how can you change it? There are a few reasons why someone may be running hot and cold towards you, but all those reasons can be explained by a simple principle. Everyone is you pushed out. Everyone, everyone is you pushed out. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter what the physical reasons are for their behavior. Everyone in your reality is you pushed out. Which means that even if you didn't realize it, even if it happened subconsciously, you are actually the one who manifested the hot and cold behavior. Which may sound bad, but it's actually a really good thing. And it is a really good thing because if you are the one who manifested it, that means that you're the person who has the power to change it. Just like that. Here's something many people miss about manifesting, although it's very obvious and it can explain hot and cold behavior as well as other problems that people face when manifesting. Manifestation doesn't happen instantly. Manifestation happens with a time lag. This means that there is a time lag between the time you start using the techniques whether that's affirmations or imagining sessions or when you change your mental diet and the time something manifests. So if you start using those techniques today, if you change your mental diet today, if you start imagining something different with a specific person today, if you start scripting today, some results may start showing up immediately. I mean, some people experience that, but usually your full manifestation may take a few days or even a few weeks, so it doesn't happen immediately. And that's actually a good thing, because imagine if every time you thought of something scary or something unwanted or something dangerous, it just manifested in your reality instantly. Like you thought about jumping off a building and suddenly you were off the window with broken bones. You wouldn't like that to happen, would you? So this is good. The time lag when it comes to manifesting gives you the time to clarify your desires and if you're thinking thoughts that are not in line with, with what you want to manifest, you have the time to change those thoughts. But here's the problem with this. Most people who struggle in their romantic life or with a specific person have a few negative beliefs. And what happens is you will meet this person and they're really into you, they're really interested in you and you have a great time, you go out on a date, you have a great time and then you go back home and you start overthinking things and you start thinking, did he like me? Did he not like me? Was I cool enough? Was I interesting enough to him? You start thinking all those thoughts and you start worrying about something that actually went great. And those thoughts that you have when you're overthinking things, so when you start worrying, those thoughts will also manifest. Unless they're fleeting thoughts, unless you don't give them much attention and emotion, in which case they won't, but usually you spend a few hours worrying or you spend a few, uh, a few hours or a few minutes with your best friend on the phone saying this happened and that happened and I'm not sure if he actually liked me or if he pretended to like me because he's just a polite guy and those thoughts will also manifest. So you go out on a date 
the date went uh, went great and you start worrying about all those things and overthinking things for a few days and then you remember your manifesting techniques or maybe that's the first you hear about manifesting because you you go on youtube and you find a video to stop you from worrying and to make sure that this relationship develops the way you want it to develop okay so you find those videos so you start using those techniques for a few days and you improve your mental diet and you use affirmations and you use imagining sessions or you use scripting or whatever other technique you uh, decide is the right technique for you and suddenly that person disappears suddenly they're ghosting you suddenly they're not replying to your messages and you're left wondering why is this happening i mean i'm using my affirmations i improved my mental diet i'm doing my imagining sessions i'm focusing on living from the end so why is this happening and the reason this is happening is that time lag because you changed your thoughts two days ago for example but reality doesn't always shift in two days so if this person is called towards you right now this is because before those two days you were overthinking things and you were worrying and you were focusing on whether he had a good time or whether he just pretended to have a good time and all those things so those thoughts from before those two days those thoughts that he had when you were worrying those thoughts that you had when you were talking to your best friend about how this date went and uh, sharing all your worries with her or with him those thoughts manifest now and you think because right now you're using your techniques and you have changed your mental diet you think that oh my techniques are not working because i'm thinking positively and i'm living from the end and i'm focusing on what i actually want to experience but what i get is cold behavior so it must not be working but it is working it is working perfectly it's just that there is this time lag so imagine that every thought that you have today manifests a week from now so next monday if you're having a positive mental diet you're not getting during the day of monday you're not getting the results of those positive thoughts you are thinking that day you're getting the results of all the thoughts you thought today okay so this is the time lag it takes a few days now this is not an exact science and some things do manifest instantly or faster or take a longer time but generally speaking whatever is happening in your life today is not the results of the thoughts you're thinking today it's the results of the thoughts you were thinking yesterday or the day before or the week before okay so you have to keep that in mind because this is what creates a cycle of hot and cold behavior something goes well you say oh it goes well and then you start worrying and this manifests the cold behavior by the time the cold behavior manifests you have been focusing on your affirmations or on living from the end so this plants the seed for something good to happen but you get discouraged because the behavior is cold so you go back to worrying now while you're worrying the thoughts you had and the seeds you planted when you were doing your affirmations start manifesting so the guy's hot about you again so you start thinking oh maybe that was working so you you go back to those affirmations and uh, whatever you were doing to manifest the perfect relationship with this person but then the result of your doubtful thoughts from a few days ago manifest so the guy turns cold again and then you think you failed again so it's a constant cycle of hot and cold behavior because you are sending mixed signals a few days you spend thinking positively and living from the end and then you spend a few days worrying and overthinking things and then you spend a few days again affirming and visualizing and living from the end and then you spend a few days worrying again so you go in, in cycles of hot and cold of positive and worrying about it positive and worrying about it and the person your specific person is responding by going through cycles of hot behavior cold behavior hot behavior cold behavior following your thoughts it's just that those don't match usually when you're having the worrisome thoughts you get the hot behavior because you planted the seed for that hot behavior a few days earlier and when you get the cold behavior if you're actually truly making an effort to manifest them usually you have already changed your thoughts so this leads you to think that when you're thinking negatively they're hot towards you and when you're thinking positively they're cold towards you 
But it's not the case, it's just this time lag that makes you think this. So the solution to this is to keep doing your affirmations and to keep using whatever technique you've chosen to use to manifest the relationship you want with this person, no matter what they do. The secret is to stop observing reality and to stop reacting to your current reality. Because only what is in your imagination is real. What is around you is not real. Is a pr this is just a product of your thoughts, of your past thoughts. The only reality is your thoughts. So, in order to stop the hot and cold behavior, all you need to do is to disregard what is happening. Like, if they are cold towards you, just don't pay any attention to it and focus on what you're doing. Keep doing your affirmations. Keep having a positive mental diet and telling yourself how awesome this relationship is and how this person adores you and how you are the most interesting person they have ever met, regardless of whether they're behaving hot or cold towards you, okay? This is the secret. Now, if you're going through the cycles of positive thinking, negative thinking, positive thinking, negative thinking, chances are you have put this person on a pedestal. So if you fix that, then you will stop going through cycles of thinking positively about this relationship and thinking negatively about this relationship. And this will put an end to the, to the hot and cold behavior. Now, if you've put someone on a pedestal, there is a solution for that, and I have a video for this. So go watch my video about how to make someone chase you and how to take someone off the pedestal. And if you like this video, then make sure to hit that like button, share it so other people can find that information if they need it. And if you haven't already, then subscribe and hit the bell icon because I put out new videos every Sunday and occasionally at other times throughout the week to help you manifest an amazing life. Thank you so much for watching.